Let's say for a second that the area you're about to draw is flat and that we're looking at a little diagram of it. If you were to kind of map out the terrain of it, you know, it's a little bit tough in flatland, but if you're in mountainous area, it's easier. Um, and kind of separate it into three sort of cross sections. If we pull out those cross sections from each other, you can kind of understand how landscape works. Generally speaking, with landscape, you get a foreground, you get a middle ground, and you get a background. These concepts are pretty easy to understand. Now, one of the things that you're going to do is stack the foreground, middle ground, and background. Our goal is to create depth, and the simplest way to do that is to overlap. So if we take those broken out cross sections, overlap them, we'll get an effective layout for a landscape. However, if we take those sections and don't overlap them and just sort of stack them on top of each other, we get a flat landscape. This is kind of maybe the way that you learn to do it in middle school or elementary school, or, or maybe that's the way you draw it naturally, um, but you're missing out on the most basic tool. Now, if we combine that with a value scale where we go zero to 10, zero being the absolute white of the paper and 10 being as dark as your material can go, what we do is we associate a value range with the foreground, middle ground, and background. And basically, in the foreground, you use your full value range. In the background, you use a restricted value range. It doesn't necessarily have to be three to three to six or four to seven, as long as it's narrow. In the middle ground, you use a um, semi-restricted value range where you use most, but not all of the values. That creates what's called atmosphere um, or atmospheric perspective. I mean, you've probably heard of those terms before. It's a very logical way to accentuate depth in, in the drawing. And so if we go back to our overlap drawing, um, we can kind of create that very quickly by using restricted and full and full value. So there in the foreground, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and create a value range that's mixed up a little bit. It has some darks, it has some lights in it, it has some middle values. And you can already see just by having three tones overall, you create an increased amount of depth. But by adding a value range within each section, you create a lot more depth than you originally began with just by adding those tones. So this is the simplest way to break down a landscape. So if you're able to use these notes, break things down into foreground, middle, ground, and background, and logically develop the values, you'll have a successful landscape.